This is Single Pack Link. To learn more about the Game Boy Advance Single Pack multiplayer functionality, such as how to connect compatible games with GBA Link cables, be sure to check out my how-to video, link in the description. Starring a lesser-known cartoon character first created in the 1940s, it's hard to believe that Droopy's Tennis Open was given the green light for development, as I can't imagine most kids in 2002 knew of this forgotten Basset Hound. Even stranger, Droopy's entire personality is built upon his slow movements, monotone voice, and non-threatening stature, pretty much the exact opposite of what makes a good tennis player. Either way, Droopy's Tennis Open is an actual tennis game that was released on Game Boy Advance and features a 1v1 single pack link mode. 2v2 doubles play is available, but that's in multi-cart link mode only. Even though Droopy made some appearances in Tom and Jerry, the famous cat and mouse are nowhere to be found in the character roster. Instead, players can select from the even more obscure McWolf, Butch, Bubbles Vavoom, who is the only human character and basically a Jessica Rabbit clone, Dripple, and Screwy Squirrel. There's no need to overthink your choice though, as each character plays with the same stats, the difference is only cosmetic. When playing in single pack mode, players can choose from a 3 game, 1 set, or 3 set match option from 6 different themed courts. These include the city, the restaurant, the far west, the north pole, the prison, and the moron manor. You know, because playing a match of tennis while freezing your nuts off in the north pole is awesome. And I mean, who wouldn't want to play a friendly game of tennis in a prison? For an unexpected tennis game starring cartoon characters you never heard of, it isn't so bad. Definitely not great, but still plainly playable. A and B are your simple shot and lob buttons while the shoulder buttons don't do anything, and there's no power-ups or special Mario Tennis-like super moves here either. Nope, just regular old hit the ball back and forth tennis. And the lack of music does make the experience feel like you're playing in a void, but I guess prison can do that to ya. Unfortunately, player 2 will always have the disadvantage because the game always places the second player in the far court even when players are supposed to switch sides. If you played the original Game Boy Tennis from 1989 using a link cable, each player was always in the front court, a very cool and thoughtful design choice to make the gameplay experience better and fair for each player. It's just a shame that Droopy's game wasn't as considerate. Droopy's Tennis Open also has long load times when in single pack multiplayer mode. When the match is over and another is restarted, the game doesn't force the player to reboot the GBAs, which is nice, but does require another lengthy reload. The funniest moment actually comes from the error screen when player 2 disconnects. This game has ended, thanks to turn off the power, with no period at the end. It's a wonder how Droopy was allowed to play on the varsity squad with a failing grade. Hmm. Yeah, it's easy to make fun of Droopy's Tennis Open, but it is the only Game Boy Advance tennis game to offer a single pack multiplayer mode. And there were many GBA tennis titles released for the system. It doesn't have all the features of virtual tennis or the crazy power shots of Mario Tennis, but the straightforward design is approachable and plays well enough to warrant a match or two with your friend who doesn't have a copy of the game. For what it's worth though, it's about a million times better than the NES version of tennis, if that means anything, which is playable on the GBA through the e-reader. So what do you think? Did you play Droopy's Tennis, or were you more of a Snoopy Tennis guy? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this single pack link coverage, be sure to check out my single pack link videos in my dedicated playlist right here on my channel. And until next time, thank you for watching, and game on.